This is Hannah and Elaine doing the video project for Mr. Mertz's seventh period class. We will be discussing the differences between the colonization of Virginia and New England and the origins of the two very different cultures. In England, Essex culture was small farms and towns. It was city-like and most people were skilled in some sort of trade, so they were useful. People coming from Essex were also literate and religious. They were Puritans, so they sailed to the New World in search of religious freedom. They arrived in Nor North, in Plymouth, where they settled so they could practice the religion. Many towns made churches that people, families attended. Families also created a sense of community. So since more people were growing up, they were also raising families. Due to the colder climate than back in England, slavery would not work in New England. Also, because of this climate change, diseases were less of a danger. The native people also helped the Puritans and established a mutual relationship. Unlike Essex and its correlating colony, New England, Wessex had a different kind of culture. Unlike most places in England, slavery had lasted longer there than anywhere else. The largest slave places rivaled that of large plantations in the South. Also, since the land was dominated by large manors with indentured servants or tenants who farmed the land, the landscape was very spread out. Because of the spread out landscape, and the farming, the people were less literate and were unskilled. Indentured servitude was a large part of their culture, so therefore it made sense that they would later bring this tradition and many more over to the new colony. The Virginia Company described the new colony as a gold mine. All you would have to do is show up and get rich. They said that there was gold on the beaches and diamonds and rubies growing from the trees. Because of this advertisement, young men and boys were the main immigrants from the homeland. Since Jamestown and Virginia were in the south, it was hot, so it caused more disease and more death amongst the new arrivals. The area had really rich soil as well, which John Rolfe later discovered that the land was then perfect for farming tobacco. This led to slavery and more indentured servitude. 
and later corruption amongst the um, landowners. Even with the House of Burgess, the colony was still very corrupt and unfunctioning. Captain John Smith then came in and helped to improve the colony until the king turned it into a colony run by himself instead of the people. 